Wonderful. How is everyone doing today? All right. So let's bring the energy level because I only got a few minutes, but I flew all the way from California to share what I know about growth hacking. So I want to give you the tremendous value. Who in this room has pitched a prospective client a proposal and then they disappear and go ghost? Wow. Okay. Who in this room only gets their business through referrals and wants to change that? Okay. Wonderful. Well, you could be anywhere in the world today and you're in the right place because I'm going to teach you those two things from this presentation. And it's going to be quick. My guarantee to you is I'm going to focus my time and energy today to give you 100% value. Does it sound good? Yeah. All right. My name is Bernardo Blola, a managing partner of Think Strategy. We are a B2B sales firm located in Irvine, California. I also have a two year old puppy. His name is Sky with the blue eyes. We work with some of the largest brands in the world. I used to work at Microsoft for four years and launched Ad Center. And there, my, my role was to manage $25 million for the world's largest brands. I also have a, I'm on the board of a nonprofit called Holistic Life Foundation. We teach kids and youth in inner city Baltimore yoga and mindfulness. You've probably seen this article and this video got shared 35 million times. All right, so here's the story of why I'm sharing this. I struggled just like you. Every single month last year, 35 to 40 phone calls I would make or sell and pitch to, I very closed, zero sales. It took two, three months of this banging our heads against the wall to figure out what was wrong. So we took our team back to the drawing board and I'm gonna show you exactly how to close sales faster and get leads in the door. There's <laughs> shortcuts seldom work, okay? And there's always a system to it. And I'm gonna show you the system, okay? All right, so here's six steps to grow your business online, generate leads. One is pick a niche, right? So you have all have case studies out there. You wanna pick one of your best clients and double down on that effort, right? Don't worry about creating campaigns uh, for other niches. Stick with one niche and work that niche. Create an irresistible offer. Create a landing page, run remarketing, email, and close the sales funnel. Let's go right into it. All right, so we talked about picking a niche, right? It could be doctors, it could be entrepreneurs. Let's pretend entrepreneurs. Pick one irresistible offer to give them. This is a guide, this is a roadmap, this is a video of the recording, this is the slides. Right, and then pick that offer and put it on a landing page. This offer right here got 40,000 leads in less than 60 days. Imagine how that will change your business if, if you did half of that. Here is the perfect anatomy of a landing page. Right, it has to have a beautiful headline, it has to have a compelling video, an image. Do you notice that orange button stands out? That's the call to action, right? And we're all WordPress experts here, so use some of the WordPress tools to build these landing pages very fast. Use swipe files. Don't try to reinvent the engine. Just take what's working. I have hundreds and hundreds of landing pages I see from top brands. Screenshot it, put it into a Google Drive. We don't reinvent the wheel, swipe and deploy. Who's heard of remarketing ads? I use AdRoll. We can do $25 a, a, a week, less than $100 a month, and your ads will be shown in the top brands in the world. This is MSN's homepage. For less than $25 a week, we just branded our whole think strategy around that. If you can't create banners, hire someone to do it. $20 banner ads, exactly how much it costs, what it says. Right? Use Upwork. Focus on only the top performing brands. Make it really simple. There's hundreds and hundreds of sizes out there. These are the top performing ones. This tool called Moat, M-O-A-T dot com, it allows you to put your competitors in a URL inside there, and then it comes up with all the brands and brand sizes. Here's an advanced tip. Imagine we're trying to go after entrepreneurs. Go into Google, type in Google image search, and type in entrepreneur magazine covers. What comes up is all the covers from the past years. Do you know the people that write those little headlines, the copywriters for those headlines? They're some of the most top paid writers in the world. 
Because imagine you're at a grocery store and you only have a few seconds to capture someone's attention. Why not steal and deploy what they're using? You can do it for any niche, right? Burn fat fast, what a great ad. Here's books to help you sell ads. Use ad swipe files. Remember, use copy that's there already, okay? There's two, th two things here from the email marketing tab that I wanna show you is one is called LinkedIn and one is called DuckSoup. You're able to use DuckSoup to scrape LinkedIn for emails, okay? We're gonna omit that part from the video, by the way. <laughs> what it does is you can say, I'll be looking for CEOs of Atlanta and I wanna find out what they do. If you notice here on the, on the bottom right, what it does is opens and closes their profile, hundreds at a time. Now imagine this, what happens when someone opens up your LinkedIn profile? You look at their profile page, and all you do is drop an email and say, oh, I know, thank you for opening up my profile on LinkedIn, happy to connect with you. Right, really, really simple. Email templates, I'm not gonna go into this too, too detailed, but uh, we'll give you the slides, right? But these are the top performing email templates. We drop thousands and thousands of emails every single month, and so we know which ones work. Okay, so here's the sales portion of it, right? So professionals control the sales conversation. Imagine this, there's a buyer and seller dance. When you're trying to buy a car, what do you do as a buyer? You walk into the car shop and you say, you kind of look around and what, what a salesperson comes in and says, how can I help you? And the buyer immediately says, oh, I'm just looking, right? What the buyer is doing is they're getting information from you. They're looking how much your service costs, they're looking what your services are offering, and then what happens? You give them this beautiful number and they disappear, right? It's, you're chasing them. Let's stop that. Let's do what's called the upfront contract. Who's following me right now? Who's ready to close sales faster? Let's follow this. Who wants to role play real quick? Two minute role play. One minute, okay. Here's the upfront contract. So here's how a presentation should go. Thanks for inviting me today for the proposal. I'm gonna have a couple questions for you, and then I'm pretty sure you're gonna have some questions for me. At the end of this pitch, I'm gonna show you the cost, and if it's too much for you, no worries, you can say no. And we'll still be friends, we'll grab a drink later on. But if you say yes, I want you to open up your calendar, let's put a date next week to make a decision. Does that make sense to you? That stops all of that chasing, right? Because they've already committed in the beginning of the meeting of what to do, say yes or no. You're giving permission to say no. Don't worry about the features. It's not about the bells and whistles. It's not about how fast things load. It's all about the pain points you solve for that problem. Okay? Let me, let me give you one last tip about who, who here does not know what to charge for their services, but they want to charge a little bit more or maybe double more, right? All of us should raise our hands, right? Here's what you do. You go, you go to a prospect and say, usually a company like yours, five to 10 pages, is roughly around 20K. 10 to 20 pages is 30K. 50 or more, it's around 50K or plus. Where do you fit in the, where do you fit in the, in the range? Let them decide. Let them tell you how much they can afford. If they can't afford your services, it doesn't work. Another way to do this is imagine how much your website costs to build let them frame it, okay? So play along with me, you know. Pretend I'm pitching you a WordPress website. Think of a price in your head, how much it costs, that I'm gonna pitch you. 1600. Okay, someone else do it, but don't say it out loud. <laughs> you, you guys got the number? Thank you for that. You, you guys got the number in your head? Okay, so I'm gonna share you, um, we're about to show you the estimate. It's gonna cost a lot. Our team works really hard to build WordPress sites. They're gonna be beautiful. We can only work with only a handful of companies because we're such so, a so boutique company. You have the number in your head? Okay, double it. <laughs> and then add a zero. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The number is right here. It's only 20K. What we do is we'll send you an invoice. Once it's paid, we'll get started. Guys, this is great information. Bernard, are you going to be around for a while? I'll be around. Um, yep. Where are you going to be? Maybe Happiness Bar? Or yes, outside? absolutely. Okay. Yep. Um, stick around. And, Perfect. And yeah, we really appreciate that. Lightning yep. rounds are a very fast uh, form.